Okay, I've decided to make a little test. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna eventually grind this part down on this grill to make it same angle, cut straight out through here. Cut this off so this whole area right here will be wide open. But I've got to figure out what will stick to the back of this plastic. And I just don't think Bondo or fiberglass resin will stick to that. So I've decided to uh, try three different types of uh, welding, plastic welding. Uh, I forgot where I put the other one at. It's in here somewhere. Yeah. There it is. I've got one that's open, but I don't know where it's at. Anyways, as you can see, this one turned out black. This is uh, about an hour long maybe two hours I let it cure it's actually a 24 hour cure time but I um, actually didn't put as much on this black uh, plastic weld as I did the uh, JB weld plastic and the clear plastic from JB weld as you can see it's clear glossy um, what I want to do is try to see how hard it is to rip and break these off. Wow. Actually that looks like it melted itself. What this is is this piece of uh, ABS plastic sheet that I've got and I sanded it down with 80 grit. I uh, mixed these on a mixing board each separately and put them on here and uh, it actually pulled pieces of the wood off the end and left it stuck on there it looks like it actually and it's hard as a brick Let's see how hard it is to pull this off well actually it's ripping the fiberglass before it would pull off so let's see how hard this is well that one didn't do so good it actually left JB Weld on the end of it and you know this was a uh, 24 hour cure time and these JB welds were only an hour cure time so I gave them two hours um, let's see what about this one well nope, it comes right off so that one didn't work so well and as you can see the clear weld of the JB weld the stick broke off with me just trying to pull this fiberglass off so, um, it's a no. That one doesn't stick quite as well either. And like I said, I did give them two hours, like I said. Gave all three of these the exact same amount of time. This one, it says 24 hours. Didn't even need that long. It was probably cured in about 45 minutes. And when I did my, my heat gun... My thermal gun, infrared thermal gun, the uh, Permatex actually got um, up to like 96 degrees, where these only reached about 80. And you can see that these are actually a little bit thicker, more goop than I did with this this one. So this one shouldn't have stuck as well, but it it's actually welded itself to the plastic. Mm, don't see no heat. As you can see I did it before but I didn't quite get a good start of the project the test on this side but it didn't work out so well. Plus I didn't sand it so I decided to retest it. And these spots are actually my uh, testing of the black goop. It's uh, Some plumber's glue mix with chunks of actually this black plastic sheeting 
mixed in it. Man, that stuff stinks. Anyways, it's the cement. It'll actually eat that plastic after three or four days. You put it on there and it will actually melt itself into the other plastic. So that didn't work out so well because it would have ate part of the grill. But it also didn't quite get, this is uh, three weeks later, it finally just hardened up but it's still soft enough I can push my fingernail into. So it looks like the uh, black plastic welder Permatex uh, uh, from AutoZone will be the one to use. But uh, hopefully, I'll get this video to where I'll be cutting this thing and piecing it back together.